so now that we're past the rain and uh, we can continue on. Right. So we have uh, half of the joists left to go. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the attic ladder. So now we have the actual dimensions for that to be able to install that. We're not putting in the attic ladder right now, though, because if it does rain again and it gets wet, that's not good for an interior attic ladder. No, it's not. We've already cut the uh, remaining rim joists that we need to put on. And now we just have to put on the joists that go kind of around that attic ladder. Um, I spent a little bit of time figuring out where we exactly wanted to place it in the space. And we think we figured it out. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to put in uh, the sheathing for the floor above. Mm -hmm. And we changed over our decision to actually using real subfloor instead of just OSB. Right. If you haven't used the two, OSB is kind of weak. Uh, it kind of flexes when you walk on it. And the subfloor is very rigid. It's a little bit better. And we went with the premium version that's a little bit smoother on the feet in case you're walking without shoes on. And this way, with tongue and groove, we can also not have to block the seams like yes. we did for the floor for the pressure treated plywood that we did for the bottom floor. Um, so we've got a lot to do, so we better get going. All right. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. I would watch the days go by, wasted in blue. I was out of use. Now every day, every night, every moment with you. I'm walking on air. And every day, every way, I feel like I can't lose. comes. Here comes Anna. There she comes with the nail clippers where I didn't make any mistakes, right? <laughs> uh, no. Wasn't me at all. Do you want me to go up there? No. <laughs> it's very fall off. Okay. okay. Tell me what we're doing. Uh, we're making what looks like a beam, but it's not a beam at all. It's basically, we need to make a double trimmer, double joist, but a trimmer for the attic stairs. And since it's going to be sitting on top of our wall directly, so that the opening is going to be flush with the flush wall. Flush with the wall, okay. Flush with the wall. Um, we just needed to pad this out so it's the right thickness of the wall. And so we added OSB in the middle, just like you do for a header, but it's not a header. And that's just so it is the same thickness as the two by fours up there. Yeah, same thickness. So that's what we're doing. So what are we about to do? We're about to sheath that second floor. And we left out the one set of joists so we have room to put our sheathing up there. So it's, we're just gonna get it up there and get it over there. That's the plan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Heavy breath through darkness. The smoke is getting close to my bed. I cannot make a sound. Empty lungs, sleeping but awake, paralyzed. So come. What you doing? Just checking stuff because I'm doing weird, unorthodox things with joist layout. 
So I'm going 16 on center from that end, going this way up to this point. And then I'm doing 16 center on center from there, going the opposite direction. And that was just to uh, kind of... It means at one point we'll have a 16 and a half space, but that's fine because you people do 24 on center for this all the time. Yeah, so we can go like a four foot sheet to here and then we'll have this weird like two foot piece in the middle here. And so it'll be choppy, but it was the most economical way to do this with the floor sheathing. And so we didn't have weird spacing for our stairs over there. There's reasons, there's reasons. are all blurry been underwater for too long but there's no need to be worried i felt your heavy breath through darkness the smoke is getting close to my bed i cannot make a sound empty long sleeping but Hey. So we are on the last joist. I think the last joist. This is it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is the last joist. And then we can start on sheathing. It's like 535, so we have like, I guess, 30 minutes left of sun. We can sheathe the rest of the bit in 30 minutes. Right? Yeah, we can do it in the dark. Yeah. That's fine. This is the last one. This is the attic opening, attic uh, stair opening that we have here. So hopefully it's large enough. And, uh, then we're gonna just keep on. But last choice, here we go. Okay, so this is the end of the night, and we have gotten some done, and we have all the joists on, and we have a few sheets. Uh, we cut them so that they would overlap, which you don't see yet. Good morning. So yesterday we finished with the remaining joists and framing out for the attic stairs, and we also toenailed around the whole perimeter for the rim joist. Uh, we also put down the sheathing, started to on the, or subfloor, on the second floor. Uh, so far, we're standing on it right now, which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we have about a little bit more than half to go, and then we'll be able to start on the walls. Uh, what's the fir first thing we need to do, though, is the ridge beam, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll put that up, find out what our final height can be, and then we'll work from there to find out the uh, all the other heights. It's going to be a lot of thinking, so we'll see how it goes. See how much time this thinking takes. All right, well, we got to get going. All right, bye. Spring comes like it's something in the air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time. Met you on a Friday, halfway out at the door of the club, playing so long the weekends. Stayed in bed till Wednesday.
second level last two pieces put this in and then we can start on the walls it's exciting you don't want to use a jigsaw for that why use a jigsaw when you have a track saw but seriously though, I don't I don't like using TikTok. No, they're awful. Hey everyone. Hey. Uh, so we just finished putting down the subfloor, the joister below that and finished. Everything is nailed together. Um, so what do you think, Anna? How did it go? Uh, I think it took a little bit more time than you think it would. I thought it would be like half a day's worth of work, but it ended up being like a day and a half just because there was all these little fiddly bits, like kind of trimming the edges and making sure these little tiny pieces were perfectly where they needed to be. So it's just a little bit longer than, than you think. Well, and next up is uh, we're gonna be doing walls. Uh, that's going to take quite a while. There's going to be a lot of figuring to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. that'll take a minute. Yeah. First thing is the ridge beam up there, which is structural to figure out the ultimate height of the building. And then we can figure out our two side walls for our two and 12 pitch. So that's next time. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, please leave a comment. If you have anything to comment on, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.